What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. We're gonna continue working on our Alpha ABS tutorial series. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys the Corsair skills. So this is gonna be um, basically a few skills that you could use for any class, but uh, I put them on a class called the Corsair. Um, also, I guess we'll be showing off the, the new intro slash beginning to the project. So we've got a little cutscene here that lets us name our hero. Some animations, some vague uh, cryptic messaging at the beginning instead of like a paragraph or, you know, a, a book for someone to read at the beginning. Select your class at the beginning. Right now we're going to show off the Corsair stuff. Some animation sequence. We can come back here if we want to get a full restore. Um, so basically, uh, at level 1 you have no skills. You'd have to run around and fight stuff with your sword. But uh, I've made a... Uh, button that lets me just uh, get a hundred grand and uh, gain a hundred experience. So that's gonna let me speed this up so I can eliminate all the grinding. So once you kill a few oozes, uh, three or four of them, you'll hit level two and you'll get hot shot. And this is a skill that costs 25 TP and it's uh, based on mostly agility, but it also has a little bit of luck and attack power in the formula. We're using Tarax Lighting for the intro cave here. And Hotshot's going to take 25 TP. So we'll have to do a little bit of uh, melee attack and then back up and crack him with the Hotshot. Uh, oh yeah, I put in the beginning of like a basic like character level up system so that you get a skill point and a stat point every level. And you could press L to open up a menu and then like allocate those points and put those wherever you want. But you may notice as I go up and down on the menu, the character also goes up and down. And when I was uh, designing this system, I thought, oh, I'll just put Yanfly's stop map movement uh, or stop event movements uh, plugin and that'll get rid of it. But for some reason, there's a compatibility issue and it doesn't stop the movements. Um, but that's no big deal. Uh, every time you level up, you're going to get full HP, MP, and TP as well in this project. Uh, let's take a look at the second skill. So the first uh, first skill is a uh, hot shot. Uh, one second cast time, uh, one, uh, one second cooldown, eight range, and it's there's the attack formula. It does fire damage. The, the next skill we get is called the Gambler's Fallacy. It's going to have a one second cast time. Here's the damage formula. It's mainly based on luck. Also, in this one, the enemy's uh, defense and magic defense comes into play, uh, and it has less range, but the, the downside is, <clears throat> or the upside is, it only costs 10 TP instead of 25. But it also costs 2 um, MP as well. Let's get out of this cave here. Start with a hot shot and they get in range. We'll do Gambler's Fallacy and then finish them off with an attack. Nice. Seems to work pretty decent if you use your skills right. So if this one doesn't level us up, I'm gonna take us to the next level. Okay. All right. So we've got more stat points we can allocate. And see, we can select if we want more HP, MP, luck, agility, you know, sort of whatever we want, whatever stat we want. I think we could probably use a little more defense. So we'll go ahead and add some defense. So this next uh, third skill is called um, Lucky Break. And basically what it does is it makes your next attack, if it's a physical attack, like a basic attack, it is uh, guaranteed critical. And it it's, uh, also gives 50% um, chance to hit, but even with a chance to hit that's over 100, um, they can still evade it. So we I hit for 245 with the melee attack because I used my lucky break right before I used my uh, melee attack. So that's kind of cool. We'll look at that one more time, I guess, after this fight. So 
So I'll use my lucky break and it doesn't have any timer. Like as long as I don't change maps, um, it'll basically make the next uh, physical attack be a critical. So that was a 205 there. My normal's 86, around 90. So I wanna test something. What if I use the skill uh, which is set to action and then I change maps, will it disappear? No, it stays, really nice. But see, if I were to cast a spell or use a skill, it wouldn't be a critical. It only works for the melee. Otherwise, it'd probably be too OP. All right, we'll take a look at the next skill after this one. Oh, we leveled up. All right, so the next skill we got for the Corsair is called a Corsair's Roll. And it's basically a gamble because you have a 50% chance to get a 20% experience bonus or a 50% chance to get a minus 10% experience bonus uh, for 30 seconds with a one minute cooldown. It's also an instant, so you don't really have to spend any time casting it. And you can tell if you got the bonus or the negative by the double plus or the double minus. So um, we got the experience bonus this time. And that's pretty much it for the Corsair's like beginner skills. You can run around this map a little bit more. I've got about 10 maps created. Can't leave the map uh, in battle though. So let's take a look at those skills. So I'll put them, uh, the note tags in the description. The first skill is uh, Hotshot. So let's check that out. Hotshot is, here's our damage formula. Uh, I'll put the no tags in a, in a box. You can give it whatever icon or cost or animation, formula, whatever is all up to you. Um, but to, in order to make this work with Phoenix Kagadisu's Alpha ABS tutorial, you'll have to put something like this in the note tags. So we've got Action Battle System 1, which makes it a vector based. So it like shoots a line across the screen. We're giving that line a, an image. We're giving it a recast time of one second. We're giving it um, a particle type fire, so it looks uh, different. And we're giving it a range of eight, so that's for a hot shot. The next one we get is Gambler's Fallacy. Very similar, except instead of fire here, we're doing dark. And instead of uh, fire arrow, we're doing um, darkness particle. And then the reload time on this is uh, three seconds, so 180. And less range on the Gambler's Fallacy is five whatever costs you want, whatever formulas you want. You know, this is really just a template for you to make some skills, but if you want to pause the game and copy this, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, the next skill was um, Lucky Break, uh, I believe. So in this one, we're using uh, reload time 20 seconds. So that's 1200 in the reload time, and we're using ABS zero this time so that it's an instant cast. Uh, this one's also gonna be certain hit, like I said, give it whatever animations that you want. This one, we have to add a state. Let's hop over to stage real quick. So for Lucky Break, we're going to give it an action end. This is going to make it last until you actually use a physical action or you do anything. But um, these will only apply to your melee attack. They won't really apply to all of the skills you're using. So unless you maybe set them to normal attack, then they might also apply. So we've got the extra parameters, critical rate plus 100%, hit rate plus 50. You could change this uh, as well to an 100. Um, it still has a chance to miss because after you uh, guarantee, once you pass the hit roll, the enemy still has an evasion, evasion roll that could happen. So you would probably max this out if you just get like five or six hit rate and it'll, it'll max it out most likely, unless you're changing the formulas around. Um, then after that, we have uh, another skill, which is the Corsair's roll. So for the Corsair's roll, the note tags are ABS0. It's an instant. It's got a one-minute uh, recast timer, but it is an instant. <clears throat> this one is calling a common event. So we'll take a look at that common event. So for the Corsair's roll, we're going to dedicate a variable to that. So we're going to right-click, insert new control variable. And then we're going to set that to a random number. We'll call it whatever you want, Corsair's roll or roll counter or whatever, set it with the operation, uh, and then the operand is a random one to a hundred. 
and then we're going to make a conditional statement. It says, if this variable, the Corsair's role, is greater than 50, then do what we say underneath here, and then create an else branch. So if it's, uh, if it's 1 to 50, it'll give you a debuff. If it's 51 to 100, then it'll give you uh, the, the buff, the 20% buff. So that's basically all we're doing is showing an animation inside here, changing the state for your party leader or the entire party, adding a state, and that's it. A uh, cool thing is when you add the state with the uh, ABS system, you don't actually have to show animation. So if you show animation right here, you'll have like two copies of the animation. Uh, and it looks really neat because one's smaller and centered on the, the character and then one's like in the same area, but like a little bit bigger, it looks closer to the screen. So it kind of has kind of a cool effect when you uh, change states from a common event like this. But yeah. It also plays it, I think, it's because of it's playing the animation here. When you use the skill, then it's calling the common event that's actually casting the animation. Um, so that's basically it for the Corsair. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any special requests using Phoenix Kage Disu's Alpha ABS tutorial, put them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you can give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.